Kavanaugh investigation. NBC News has learned that Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and his team worked behind the scenes for days to get his friends to refute allegations by Deborah Ramirez that Kavanaugh exposed himself to her while they were in college. This comes as the White House today authorized the FBI to expand its supplemental investigation into Kavanaugh. That investigation must be wrapped up by Friday. NBC News has learned that at least one mutual friend has attempted to contact the FBI with information pertinent to the investigation, but has yet to be contacted by the Bureau. With me now is one of the reporters who just broke this story, NBC News National political reporter Heidi Presbella. The panel is back as well. Heidi, uh, first run through what your reporting is. Right, Katie, this is someone who did not want to go public, but someone who has potentially very pertinent information, who has been attempting to get through to the FBI, has made several attempts, finally uh, hired a lawyer yesterday, uh, but is getting no guarantee. She's tried contacting a local field office and told that this is not their authority to take this information, so let's break it down. She is a mutual friend of both Debbie Ramirez and Brett Kavanaugh, who knew them from their days at Yale Law School. She is in... A at Yale University. She is in possession of a series of text messages that she says she has not drawn any conclusions about, but that suggests that they definitely need to investigate further what was going on in the lead up to this New Yorker piece exposing uh, Debbie Ramirez's story. Specifically, Katie, uh, she wanted to get out these texts that show that Kavanaugh may have been trying to discredit Debbie Ramirez in the run up to the New York story running, even though he told the Senate Judiciary Committee that he wasn't aware of the New Yorker huh. story until it ran. So that's something that needs to be looked into, whether he was pushing other classmates who are part of this tight-knit circle that includes Debbie Ramirez and the lady who <laughs> crafted this memo. Her name, by the way, is Carrie Bertram. She is 51 years old, former classmate who has been concerned for quite a while trying to bring this information forward. Um, the White House says that this is normal, that Kavanaugh would do this in the run up to this story, that it's PR, quote, PR 101, Katie. But we've talked with experts who've been through this confirmation process before, specifically Bob Bauer, who say this would be highly imprudent for someone like Brett Kavanaugh to be reaching out and trying to sway the information that is being put forth in the run up to one of these stories, that given the severity of the accusations, he had no business but reaching out to these people. According to the text messages, that's exactly what he did. Mm. Uh, the woman who exchanged the text messages with another friend had text messages saying that Brett is asking me to do this. Brett's team is asking me to do this, including procuring a photo of Debbie Ramirez and Brett later that shows them smiling at a bridal party. Well, guess what? Another thing that we obtained in these text messages suggests that Debbie Ramirez was actually very uncomfortable during that interaction. In that photo, you see it there. That was taken at a wedding of a mutual friend, uh, Karen Yara Savage and her husband. Uh, Brett Kavanaugh was apparently trying to procure this photo presumably to try and discredit Ramirez's account to show that they are friends. Well, in fact, according to these text messages, uh, Carrie Bertram says that she thought it was very odd how Deborah Ramirez was behaving at this party, that she was avoiding Brett Kavanaugh, that she was clinging to her, that Deborah Ramirez was clinging to Carrie Bertram. So a lot to unpack in these emails. Uh, you can read it on NBCNews.com. And but this does shed light on on Kavanaugh and Ramirez's relationship that they they knew each other better than we had previously been led to believe. Right. That there was this tight circle of former Yale classmates um, that, in fact, they wound up 10 years later being in the same wedding party. Um, and so, yes, when Kavanaugh came out, he was trying to, of course, distance himself from Debbie Ramirez. But what this shows is that they were in this tight circle and that he personally, according to these text messages that we obtained, may have been trying to pressure some of his classmates to come out and refute Debbie Ramirez. Mm. Um, and that's something that obviously needs to be looked at by the FBI. But at this point, 
is not, according to Carrie Bertram. She's made several attempts to get through to the FBI. This very relevant, Katie, given that today is the day when the White House says, hey, no holds barred. We want them to overturn Wait, every and, and stone. And Heidi, are we, sure, stone. are we sure that he was pressuring the friends or uh, is it could it be more innocuous than that? What does the reporting show? Right. The text messages show that the mutual friend, Karen, who was texting to Carrie Burcham, said that Brett used his name and Brett's team and Brett's guy, that was the exact language, had asked her to, one, get a photo, uh, get that photo that we showed, and two, that Brett using, she used his name, uh, which suggests that it was Brett personally, was asking her to go on the record to defend him. Interesting. Is there a way to charitably read this that, hey, listen, he's been accused of something and he wants to find the people who were around him at the time to say, hey, listen, do you remember it that way? Because I don't remember it that way. That yeah. is, of, that is, of course, what the uh, White House is saying, that when you're being accused of something, you're going to go to the mats and try to find everyone who can disprove that allegation. But like I said, the experts we talked to said that yeah. Brett Kavanaugh should not have personally, given the position that he's in, be trying to um, micromanage this campaign to try and essentially discredit Debbie Ramirez's allegations. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, Good America.